Hello friends, today we will be discussing about this differential pressure cell. Uh, in short, we call it as a DP cell. The main purpose of DP cell is to, uh, it acts as a level transmitter, boiler, boiler level transmitter. Now, uh, as we are seeing here, this is the boiler, boiler drum, and this is the gauge glass. And here sensors, sensors are fit, uh, fitted for uh, high, high level, high level, low, low level, and, uh, low level and low, low level. And uh, this is the uh, water level, boiler water level, steam pressure is acting over here. Now here three valves are there, valve 1, 2 and one valve is this. Now the valve, uh, uh, valve 1, the steam pressure will, steam will pass through valve 1, this will be open, valve 1 will open, will remain open and steam will pass from 1 to the wear. This is the wear. It will go to the wear, and here the steam will get condensed. And after that, the condensed steam, uh, uh, which condensed into the water, this water head will be acting on top of here. Now this is the DP cell. This is actually called the DP cell. Now uh, let us see what actually is happening over here. Friends, the level in this wear, the steam which gets condensed in this wear, the level is this. Now, the head of this level is considered with respect to the sea level. The head of this, the head of the condensed water in the wear is considered with respect to the sea level. And now let us see. Uh, this is the valve number 2. The water will be flowing from here and it will go from here to it will be acting below the this is the bellow of the DP cell. It will be acting below the bellow and uh, inside the bellow where the spring force is there along with that here the steam pressure because the steam pressure is acting over above this one here the steam pressure is acting this steam pressure is acting over here this is the level of the condensed water and the head uh, we are taking with, re with with respect to sea level and this boiler water uh, level this head we are taking with respect to sea level and this is called H. We are denoting it, this head we are denoting it with H. And this head we are denoting, denoting with capital H. Now, as you are seeing here, H, capital H, that is the steam pressure is acting over here. And here, the water, uh, water drum pressure that uh, steam drum pressure that uh, water pressure is acting over here the water head the water head is acting over here now so the total pressure which will be acting over here will be the steam pressure p which is acting above this uh, condensed water level plus head of this condensed water level this we call it as uh, P plus H which is acting here and below the bellow uh, what is acting uh, is this uh, head this P P is the steam pressure which is acting above this water steam drum pressure and H is the head this head head of this water level with respect to sea level and rho is the density of uh, water boiler drum and uh, density of water in the boiler drum and g is the gravity now as we know that uh, uh, through dimension analysis h is meter rho is mass 
per volume means kg per meter cube and g is 9.8 meters per second square we will write it g now kg into g and this is uh, m into kg into g now this m will cancel out here meter square now as you know mass into g is force and meter square so force per meter square is pressure so p plus p uh, this is pressure due to the head of the head of the boiler drum water level this now friends uh, i'll show one thing here uh, in dp cell this is the damper valve now why this damper valve is given this damper valve is actually given uh, for uh, there is a purpose for this in rough weather suppose uh, the level is fluctuating too much in rough weather so at that time we will open this damper valve and what actually it does is that the upper pressure means in the within the bellow uh, which one is acting that steam drum steam pressure through the wear that is acting over here that can be bypassed into here that can be bypassed to this to, to below below where the water drum head pressure is acting so now friends uh, uh, we have to consider uh, one more thing here here this is the transducer uh, transducer force portion now what is the transducer here here it is this arrangement is called nozzle and the flapper arrangement nozzle and flapper arrangement now in this nozzle and flapper arrangement what uh, how it works i just uh, i would request you to before going to, into the transducer part uh, i would i would request you to please subscribe my channel because uh, afterwards uh, i'll be uh, posting more videos on uh, nozzle and flapper arrangement and uh, proportional and integral controller uh, those things are important so uh, now let us see how it works this is the nozzle and this is the flapper and here here is the uh, 1.2 to 2 bar air supply is there control air uh, supply is there now this control air when it goes through the nozzle the distance if it is more then the pressure through the restrictor after uh, the uh, after the air passes through the restrictor the pressure will be more if the distance between the flapper flapper and the nozzle will be less as the flapper comes near there will be more pressure developed here after the restrictor this is the restrictor the more pressure here and the bellow will expand and it will block here and there will be no output air supply from here if it shuts then uh, this this is uh, when there is no output uh, air supply then it shows that it is in equilibrium and if there is suppose uh, some gap is there what actually happens low, low pressure will be there now this won't be closing some of the air will be passing from here and it will the air will come out from this output port and this uh, will show this will also taken as a indication for the output now if any problem is there in this dp cell we don't have to adjust here anything there is a, a range adjust uh, adjuster spring is there this this is the range adjuster spring we need to adjust this one so suppose if the pressure above means inside the bellow is more means the steam drum pressure which is acting over here along with the head of the condensed water which is acting over here if it is more than the water drum uh, uh, head which is acting over here plus steam pressure here uh, it is acting uh, if it is more if this pressure is more than this then it will go down this spindle will go down and finally the linkage it will go down there will be less space here more pressure will be created after the after the restrictor and 
there uh, this bellow will expand because of uh, more pressure uh, more air pressure this bellow will expand and there will be no air flow and there will be no air flow from this because if this ex uh, if it expands it will shut this port will get shut and no air from here earlier which was passing will come so friends this was the working of uh, dp cell thank you